Hi, and welcome to our series on IGCSE Economics. This is Unit 2, Part 3. In today's episode, we are going to be learning about PED. If you haven't seen our previous videos, please click on the card above. Now you may be thinking, elasticities, <coughs> but it's really not that bad. Elasticities are, basically, how much one factor changes when you change another. For instance, how much does quantity change when you change the price? Firstly, let's talk about PED, price elasticity of demand. PED is basically the responsiveness of the quantity demanded to a change in price. You can think about price elasticity of demand as the shape of the demand curve. It is calculated by the percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price. It is how responsive demand is to a change in price. So when the price changes, does demand change by only a little or by a lot? When we interpret our results, if we have an answer that is greater than one, then demand is very sensitive to price. This means a small change in price leads to a big change in demand. This demand is said to be price elastic. In this example of elastic demand, a price rise of 20% does lead to a 50% decrease in quantity. The PED is 2.5. Examples of these types of goods usually have substitutes. Examples are shell oil, Kit Kat chocolate bars, and Porsche sports cars. Interpreting our results again, if you have an answer that is less than one, then demand is very insensitive to price. This means a big change in price leads only to a small change in demand. Demand is said to be price inelastic. In this example of inelastic demand, a 40% increase in price has led to a 10% decrease in quantity. The PED in this case is said to be 0.25. Examples of these types of goods are petrol, salt, tap water, and generally goods that are produced by a monopoly. PED in the short term is said to be inelastic. This is because it takes time for consumers to find substitute goods. If PED equals zero, demand is said to be perfectly inelastic. This means that the demand does not change at all when the price changes. The demand curve will be drawn as a vertical. Imagine tickets to a concert where the quantity is limited. If PED equals one, then demand is said to be unit elastic. A 15% rise in price would lead to a 15% contraction in demand, leaving total spending the same at each price level. The following factors affect PED, the number of close substitutes for a good, the more close substitutes in the market, the more elastic demand because consumers can easily switch their demand if the price of one product changes relative to another. The cost of switching between products, there may be significant costs involved in switching between products. In this case, demand tends to be relatively inelastic. For example, mobile phone service providers may insist on a 12 or 18 month contract being taken out. The degree of necessity or whether the good is a luxury. Goods and services deemed by consumers to be necessities tend to have an inelastic demand, whereas luxuries tend to have a more elastic demand. The percentage of consumers' income allocated to spending on the good. Goods and services that take up a high proportion of the household's income 
will tend to have a more elastic demand than products where large price changes make little or no difference to someone's ability to purchase the product. Please subscribe, like and share, it really helps us out. And check out the quizzes in the description below and check into the Google Classroom if you've got any questions. Further factors that affect DED are things like the time period allowed following a price change. Demand tends to be more price elastic the longer we allow consumers to respond to a price change. Whether the good is subject to habitual consumption. When this occurs, the consumer becomes less sensitive to the price of the good in question because their default position is to buy the same product at regular intervals. Peak and off-peak demand. Demand tends to be priced inelastic at peak times and more elastic at off-peak times. The breadth of definition of a good or service. If a good is broadly defined, i.e. the demand for petrol or meat, demand is often inelastic, but specific brands of petrol or beef are likely to be more elastic following a price change. How can firms use PED? If PED is inelastic and a firm raises its price, then total revenue increases. If PED is elastic and a firm lowers its price, then again total revenue increases. If PED is elastic and a firm raises its price, then total revenue decreases. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe, like and share. We hope to see you next time.